Hi folks, Bob Collins for Diver Supply. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about compasses and how to shoot headings and a little bit about navigation underwater. Now this is not going to be a full navigation course. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit of information out of the SDI Advanced Adventure Book. And of course, if you happen to take the navigation specialty, some of the information I'm going to be putting forward is out of that specialty course. Let's take a look at some of the different compasses that are out there. There's a simple compass like the one I've got in my hand. This is my compass. I use it on and clip it to a retractor on my BC so that it stays tucked out of the way. And of course, there's other compasses that many of you have seen, like the compass that's on a submersible pressure gauge. Many of the rental units and equipment out there are equipped like this. We also have dive computer consoles that may have a compass attached. And of course, there's many, not all, dive computers have compasses built in, electronic compasses. So this happens to be the Atmos Mission 1 dive computer. Why do we use compasses? Of course, in your open water course, you were exposed to compasses. You learned a little bit about how to use them. During that course, I know you have a lot of information coming at you. So maybe you've forgotten what was, uh, what was presented to you during that course. So I'm gonna touch on that briefly. And then what we're gonna do is talk a little bit about underwater navigation, maybe a little bit about dis measuring distances, a couple of little things like that that I think you'll find interesting. So the basic compass is pretty simple. It's got uh, a bezel, what we call a bezel. I put a picture up here. It's got a bezel on it. It's got a white floating card inside, we call it, in a liquid. There's a line on here, it's called a, the red line, it's called a lubber line. There's a window on the side that we utilize for shooting headings. Now, the white card also has a magnetic north pointer on it. So no matter where you are, this will point north. Now using a compass is pretty simple. If you happen to drop down your anchor line or buoy line and you swim away from that, you want to try to remember how to get back to that buoy line, you can shoot a heading in the direction that you're swimming. And then as you're all aware, then you just shoot a 180 and come back to it. That's if you went in a straight line away from your anchor point. Let's say you don't remember how to get back. Well, the easiest thing to do is go to the surface. Look, there's my boat, okay? And take your compass, shoot a heading on it. And then once you shoot your heading, drop down 10 or 15 feet underwater, look in the window and follow that heading back to your boat. Couple of little things. The red lubber line, you wanna keep that in line with your body. All right, now I've got this one in my hand and I tend to use it this way. Other times people have it on their wrist and they may be in this position to help hold this in line with their body. Whatever way works for you, but just make sure you're not turning the compass to accommodate going back onto a heading. You wanna make sure you turn your body, not just the compass. Knowing a known distance is important for us to understand how to measure things. And I'm talking about maybe we come across something. We wanna measure underwater. We wanna measure a distance based on kick cycles. So the first thing we need to know is a known distance. Pretty much all of us know how tall we are. And what I've done is I took a tape measure and I measured myself against a uh, display stand over here. I'm gonna show you that. So I know I'm about 5'10". And what I did is I put my back to this post right here. And then I took my orange marker and I m made a mark here. I took my 
uh, tape measure and I measured from the floor up here to the orange mark and I'm approximately five feet, 10 inches tall. Based on that, I can assume that my arm span is also five feet, 10 inches. Now, to check that, what I did was I went over to the counter. I don't know exactly how long total the counter is, but I'm going to go over and I'm going to measure an arm span, reach and mark that, and then I'm going to measure that with my tape measure. Let's go over there. Here's my arm span. I've marked the counter right here. I measured with my tape measure, and I know this is five feet, 10 inches. So now I would do additional arm spans to determine exactly how long the counter is. And the counter is basically two and a little bit of an arm span, so approximately six, six, and maybe two. So the counter is 14 feet long. If I know that this is 14 feet and I started on this end and I began my kick cycles as I swam down the length of this, knowing it's 14 feet, then I would do that four times to understand how many kick cycles it took me to go 14 feet. And based on that, I could figure out how far I go in one kick cycle. Maybe I go one yard on one kick cycle. And of course, if the object that I want to go to is 50 yards in a given uh, compass heading, then what we can do is I can concentrate on the compass heading. My dive buddy can count the kick cycles as we swim together out there to whatever. Maybe we found a pot of gold and we wanted to go change our tanks. So we shot a heading back to the boat. We knew our direction going back. We counted our kick cycles from the pot of, the pot of gold back to the boat. And now we know reciprocal heading and how many kick cycles we need to get back to the pot of gold. So there's a lot of uses and of course, uh, remembering some of those basics that you uh, were trained on in your open water course. Understand that if you're doing the advanced adventure course, you're going to get to do a navigation dive in your advanced adventure. And of course, to qualify for your navigation specialty with SDI, you only need to make one more dive. So it's a lot of fun to utilize and understand the basics of a compass, uh, how it helps keep you safe, how it makes you a more competent diver. If you have any comments about using a compass, maybe in some situations, maybe you found a pot of gold. I also enjoy when folks come into the store and I get to visit with them like Mike from Consimi. He and his wife were up the other day and we got to chat a little bit and have some fun talking about the videos. Again, my name's Bob Collins for Diver Supply. Appreciate you watching. And as we always say, stay safe out there.